送餐车。I just spent probably 45 minutes or so cleaning everything inside, outside, both sides, whatnot, top and bottom of the frame rail because we're going to have to re weld all the factory stuff. And we got to make sure everything on the inside is clean, especially this stuff because once it's on, you can't get to it. So we had that all cleaned up. So, yeah, that way we can get some uh, good clean welds. I mean, obviously, I didn't, I didn't get this perfectly done yet, but the key was to get all the stuff on the, the inside that you won't be able to get now. But before I go to weld it, I'll clean up a little bit more. That way we don't have any contamination because these GMs got this factory rubber coating and dealt with it in the past. And... As soon as you start welding, it heats up, it melts, and it just runs right into, you know, where you gotta work, and it's just a pain in the butt. So, and obviously you won't get a good weld, and that's <laughs> pretty uh, important on a frame, so. All right, so got this all tacked in, just a couple different places, and kept double checking and triple checking my measurements. As you weld stuff like this, you want to keep checking it because it will move a little bit. It could move, let's say that much. So everything is square. And uh, so this is the stopping point for tonight. Tomorrow, I'm going to finish fully welding all that, top and bottom, both sides. And then, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get coated and painted in one way or another. And then we'll be ready for reassembly. So going pretty good. Got done welding everything up. Got those beads done, that one done. Going around that perimeter. Underneath, we go underneath there. And there's a reinforcement down on the bottom there. So we did that on, you can see it just over there, both sides. So same thing with that. Got that all welded up. I mean, I guess that's the big major part. We got leaf frames on, that's cool. So now we can uh, finish cleaning up the frame and get it painted.
I'm gonna adjust the camera. Here we go. Some bushing installs. Yeah, line it up a little bit better. A little better. Yeah. It's like, you know, I might have a piece of wood you could put that on. Well, that's what I was hoping for, but. It's, I even got metal. What is this? Oh, well, then you look at this. I'm going to pull by something. Hold on. I got some. Look at that. There we go. There it is. Are we ready? Yeah. This is the part where we just get angry at it. Yeah. Just watch. Install. Some leaf spring install brought to you by Simple Go Minus Gopher, <laughs> Gopher documentary. Yeah. Right, I'm still smiling in my painting straight. Can't hold it back. That's generally how it goes. We're going to leave it up. Leave it up. Leave her up with some grease action. Yeah. Your choice of wood. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hanger. Hang it. There we go. Down. There we go. That. Okay, that's not going anywhere. We established. I was going to say, we're going to put them on backwards. We're going to put them on backwards? I thought we were. Oh. Let's see if I can adjust anything here. Yeah, this is the easy part. Okay. Which one's bottom? They're about the same. Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, didn't I? Yeah, I did. What? This, I, I was going to say it was my choice to put them yeah. the other way because not having to remove a hitch just to take a bullet. <laughs> I only say that because he did buy a new hitch to put it in. So, indeed. Okay. Take the gloves off. Oh, I'm impressed. Nope. Boom. Had to use the old tweezer fingers. Yep. There, you go. there it is. Installed. Installed. 